Okay, so after a long time, MIUI 13, which is a week's ROG edition based on MIUI 13, is out for the Redmi Note 8 users. If you're a user of Redmi Note 8 using Ginkgo, you can install this thing on your device, which includes the memory extension features, all the MIUI 13 features, and all the AVX ROG edition features already included for you let's have a small take a quick look at this build which we have installed on redmi note 8 you can also install this thing one thing keep in mind yes it's me 13 but it's not based on android 12 it's based on android 11 so some little bit of features like material you theming and the new control center you might not get in this update so keep this thing in mind and everything else is just kind of really good if you move on to the default things of course we have all the default things available which you have in abx rog edition for example this kind of default wallpaper the control center of course the old one but smoothness is at its best of course it's based on china it's not based on xiaomi eu a ported room of course it's not the official one just because not no official updates are coming for the redmi note 8 users that is why this is a ported one so yes you might face some little bit of bugs here and there but there are no major bugs i think so make sure to give it a try if you want to try something different after a long time on your device i'll recommend you a magisk module for sure to install on a device to increase the performance as it is being 13 so yes new widgets of course it's based on china so new widgets were expected are already included in this one i think so you will love these things including that then let's move on to the other things for example the default launch if you can see we have the default miumi 13 launcher already included we have the don't show text feature if you move on to more option app world home screen search bar all things are there it's based on china but yes you have the google play store included no worries about that google play store is already included here including that if we move on to some other things here for example what we have in this abx rog edition the chinese theme store the china theme store which is actually quite good and as good as compared to the global one because it has a theme import option and including that you have the two interesting abx rog themes already included here which includes a gradient one which includes the lime ui if you want to apply this you'll see compatibility issues no worries click apply it will be applied successfully and for your information as you can see i haven't i haven't rebooted my device and theme has been applied successfully without having any issues and this theme looks quite good i think so and you might love this theme and if you want to choose this theme want to install this theme on a global device that's already available for the theme store so make sure to check out that Moving on to the wallpapers and personalization section, if you move on to the library section, you might find all the MIUI 13 dynamic wallpapers already, which looks better. And if I try to download these wallpapers, these are downloading successfully. So no issues, no bugs here and there. And including that all the rogue wallpapers are also included. As you just saw, these rogue wallpapers were also included in the previous updates. All the MIUI 13 wallpapers, including the rogue wallpapers are already added. So you might find useful these things. This is the charging animation which you have in ROG Edition. So this is quite good looking, I think so, in my opinion. I think so, it's a very good, interesting thing. Including this charging animation as it is, of course, based on MIUI 13. So MIUI 13 gallery is also included. The protective watermark feature is there, which seems quite good. And I think so, you'll love this thing on a device if you want to choose this thing on your device. Other than that, of course, face lock, fingerprint, and the password, etc., is working fine here. In my case, I didn't got any issues in face unlock and fingerprint lock. All these things were working perfectly fine here, including then that. If we move on to the more option, languages and input, of course, it has China's keyboard, so make sure to install Google Keyboard to avoid any major issues. Memory extension was expected, it's already included. Special features includes some Chinese features, and including that new sidebar, it's also present here which you can enable the always show option and including there some other options too looks quite good and this might be very interesting choice for you if you want to try out something different on a device link is in the description as always all the credits goes to the main developers of course who just found this one after a long time this update came here so if you want to install this thing how you can install this make sure you have the custom recovery installed this is the boot animation which you will see after the installation of this custom room and yes the link is in the description these were things i just want to let you know if you like this video don't forget to like and share this i will see you in the next video until then goodbye
Over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 